God you you said you was in Palm Springs. I was, but you'd have hit me and let me know out of room. I, I would have, but I, I was so. I was so. I don't know. You be checking all the girls, bro. Listen, man, don't you be. Hey, listen, listen. Because I'm big and sexy. They like, and, and I'm and I'm super dark. So, I mean. I'm super it's a, dark. What, it's you a, mean? A, what you mean? What you mean? The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice, baby. I agree. You, like, you look mixed. You ain't. You mixed ain't of what? Like, Zulu and. Uh, nah, like white uh, and European. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're doing two compound movements in one. Okay. You should be familiar with this. I'll show you how we're doing it right here. All right. So we're gonna incorporate Romanian deadlifts, straight or stiff leg deadlifts, uh -huh. and barbell rolls. Yes. All right. So it's real simple like this. Boom, back nice and straight, chest up. You don't wanna like come down looking ahead. A lot of people do that. Mm -hmm. That's not proper. You wanna keep your neck, your spine neutral. When you do that, you're you're asking for some type of injury, okay? okay? So keep your neck, so you're gonna look straight down. So let the weight kind of slide down your legs to keep it nice and straight, like this. You have a slight bend in your knee. Mm -hmm. You're coming down to where you're about 90 degrees. <sighs> right, for five reps. Okay. Two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. right, from there. You go back down into this position and you do your barbell bent over rows, back straight, head straight, neutral. Bring it all the way to your stomach, elbows tight to the, close to the body. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Then you go back to your deadlifts. Boom, boom, for okay. five, okay. back to your rows. You're gonna repeat that three times. Okay. have to train your body in totality. Can't just do curls and push-ups or curls and bench press. I used to do that when I was a kid. And also when you're building muscle, when you're completely building your body, you're keeping yourself out of harm's way from injuries. A lot of times when people are getting injuries is because they're weak in their tendons around their knees, their hips, things like that. The stronger you become, the stronger your structure is, you're able to with endure that. A person that's in good shape, their bones are stronger, their tendons are tighter, their muscles are tighter, thick, dense muscle fibers. It keeps them out of harm's way. So it's multiple reasons why you should be training and lifting weights, all right? All right, so big man, we're moving over right here to lat pull down. Mm -hmm. Now this is a different looking grip. Right. It's, a, it's called a neutral grip, right? Uh -huh. So when I had my bicep surgery, the surgeon said that pull-ups, lat pulls like this, mm -hmm. Over time, it can start deteriorating the tendons in your uh, biceps and your shoulders because it's such an unnatural position. So he said, as much as you can, try to do things like at a normal, uh, nat natural grip, right. right? Like this. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've been adopting this neutral grip right here. All right, so we're gonna do 15 reps right here. You're gonna step back, we're going to body weight squats, 20 reps, all right? <laughs> Does that feel better? Yeah. I have a bicep issue too on my right bicep. Biceps? Come on, man. This is the first time I'm hearing about this. You don't want me to call CT up in here. Five more. Just give me 15 body weight squats. They don't have to be super fast. Uh, but proper too. Three, get deep. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, not done yet. All right, big Mike, let's go. I got one twenty. Give me a second. 
All right, so like I said a couple episodes back, he's going to be trying me, right? Trying to get these extra breaks, these extra long rests. And I'll oblige. However, I will still calibrate by adding an extra movement. So I decided to add in some tricep extensions. Let's get it. My shoulder felt okay during this. I don't have full range of motion, so I did whatever I could do during the workout. To me, honestly, it feels shitty, and it feels like I, I, I let um, Mike and the team down because I, uh, because I couldn't go as hard as I would normally go if my shoulder um, was in better condition. So I decided to add in tricep extensions. And triceps is something that I always typically throw in with a back workout because when you're doing your back workout, you're using your arms to do the work, right? You're doing pulling, it's all pulling movements. So that's working your biceps. So it only makes sense instead of doing back and bys, which you're doubly burning out your biceps, compromising your back workout, you do back and tries. So you're working the back part of your arm. That way you're getting, you're stimulating muscle growth, blood flow in both sides, and you're not compromising the primary exercise or movement, which is back, all right? So back and triceps is always the perfect combination. Okay, extra credit, all right, extra credit. Overachiever, I like it, I love it. Short break. Come on. Hey, come on. Four, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, come on, fourteen. See, I'm counting, I'm counting, because you've been, you've been jipping me out of a, a rep. You know, I'm going to the X-Field first time. Nah, you don't. I don't think you know I can't run it back. All right, so he did it. So big deal. Whatever I say goes. I'm the coach, all right? Let's go get my finish strong. Back tight though, not I meaning muscle a lot of blood in there. But with you being such a eligible bachelor, I'm sure you have somebody to come and work the knots out. <laughs> you know, I gotta figure that out. That's that's why I need to figure that out. Yeah. Somebody come to the house, be able to knead me up and make sure I'm ice me down. And you know what they got in Long Beach? Baby oil. In Long Beach, they got the well, you're taking a little too far there. <laughs> <laughs> Five more. Seven. Twelve. Let's go. Thirteen. Fourteen. Come on. All right, so you'll see I'm having him do lots of supersets. 
because that's cardio. You don't have to be on a treadmill to do cardio. You don't have to do something that's tedious and boring to do cardio. I like to have cardio sometimes being extra strength training exercises. What it's doing is keeping your heart rate up. And that's essentially what cardio is, keeping your heart rate elevated for an extended period of time. One weight right here, you know what we're doing? Yes. Got the squats. Yes, sir. All right, cool. How Let's many get you got, 50? Three reps of this and that's it. How much? Five, uh, five, five reps each? Huh? Five reps each? Five times three. 15? Yeah. Okay. It's all yours, sir. Take it away. Excuse me. Damn, Gina. Let me get one for the gram real quick. Big pull. There you go. Good. Come on. Come on. Two more. Got something for you. Got my ear. Got it. 15 reps. Come on. Five more. Easy. All right, so there's exercises that I put together that are called complexes, right? I have barbell complexes, dumbbell complex. This one includes dumbbells and a kettlebell, so it's just a complex. So here, Big Mike is doing a bent over row. Well, he's leaning right on a bench and rowing with the dumbbells. And he's going right into his goblet squats, which you're holding any kind of weight. And what it's doing is shifting your weight, right? It's a counterbalance. It puts you in a perfect squat position. You want to hold something heavy, a dumbbell, a kettlebell, something like that. And you just sit and you squat. The weight is not super heavy, however, it's strengthening your core because you're holding it right here. You want to feel it all throughout your body. So this is an excellent exercise and putting it together with rows, chef kiss type of movement. Big Mike's going to thank me later. When you least expect it, I got something for Believe me, I already know. Believe me. I know you got crazy. something crazy coming at me, bro. Let's go. Last step. Come on. Good, good reps. Good. <laughs> Five more. Easy. A lot. All right, so Big Mike crushed it here. Now we about to go put him on a DEXA scan, get a real accurate uh, analysis of where he is right now, but I'm proud of him. All right, next we're going to do some recovery. Check this out. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, Oh yeah, man. Oh, what are these? Yeah. Okay. All right. My friend here, he's in in need for some recovery. Yes, definitely. You heard about you guys? Want to give you a shot? So do you want to like hot cold or? Yeah, hot cold. Okay. Now I'm taking Mike to a facility to do some cold plunge and some sauna. Right? I do this every day. Okay, at least five days a week. Um, but I'm gonna get Big Mike acclimated to it. He doesn't do it yet. I've had him in the sauna a few times. Um, so he's a little bit acclimated to that, but he's not acclimated to the cold plunge yet. One of the biggest benefits that I see with the sauna, which I'm a fan of, is it enhances or increases neurogenesis. That means it creates new neurons in the brain. It significantly lowers blood glucose levels. It detoxes the body. It increases one's metabolism. It's very obvious it helps with weight loss. Every time I go in a sauna, when I weigh myself before and after, consistently I lose a pound. Every time. Big Mike. 
Your time is done. You are cooked. You're yeah. broiled. Come on. How, how'd it feel? Feel good. All right, now we're gonna go over to the uh, cold, cold plunge. plunge. Yes, sir. All right, so now we're going to the cold plunge. Big Mike had the nerves to say as we were walking in, oh, I do about six minutes. I was like, stop the cap, bruh. You're not doing six minutes. I don't even do six minutes, right? But anyway, I love, I love the confidence. We're going to see what he's about. All right. Oh, shit. Hey, hey. Just three minutes, all right? So, but when you get in, water up, to your, up here, not here. Listen, but, but this is how I do it. When I get in, I, get, I, I submerge myself, and then I go into meditation immediately. So just breathing. Look, look, nice and calm. Focus on your breathing, all right? Only, not your body, and try not to move, all right? Nah, just get in, just get in, just get in. Shit. Sit down, no, don't do that. Yeah, turn around. Don't do all of that, just ignore it, ignore it. Get in there and breathe, Big Mike. Get in there and breathe. I hit that water and it was so cold. Oh my. Can you get your chest under? How you feel? As soon as I got in, I couldn't breathe. Uh, I, I knew I wouldn't hit in six minutes. I, I didn't even know I was gonna hit 30 seconds to be totally honest with you. Okay, try to get, try to get the top of your body down. But to listen to the mic while I'm laying there, I remember laying there, submerge, do your best, just, just get under it. And I'm, so I put, put as much as I could under under the water, um, my knees and everything, and literally, I'm, I'm, I'm listen, count. 30 seconds, it's easy. And I'm trying to control my breathing at the same time, but as soon as you said like a minute and a half up, I'm like, boy, I, I, got, I got that thing as fast as I could. Okay, time. It's not a game, son. It's not a game, baby. Go. I got a minute and a half. But listen, that's a starting point. I'm gonna get to that six. First, you know what? Let me let me stop that. I'm gonna get to get to two minutes next. <laughs> two and a half and three. I'm gonna incrementally, incrementally uh, make uh, gains on that. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get to six. I think I was being too or overly overzealous to think I'm gonna hit six minutes. A minute and a half was too much. 10 seconds was too much. I had to, I had to fight to get a minute and a half. <laughs> Thanks, sir. I just pick myself and tell everybody for the minute Feel good. Uh, shock to the system. What did you expect before getting in? Man, you asked too many damn questions. Cold. Cold water. Cold water. I warm up. Later. All right, so there we have it. It's a wrap. Big Mike is on point. He's on schedule. We're down some weight. We're at 305. Next weigh in, I want him under 300 pounds. Workouts are coming along. Still getting a little bit of resistance from him, but that's going to go away. We're implementing new tactics and strategies to help him recover faster and just have a better overall experience like the cold plunge and the sauna the more that he's acclimated to those things he's going to be in better shape you'll see it it happens over time what i need y'all to do is make sure y'all comment down below shout out big mike let him know you here for him let him know you're supporting him right and if y'all on a journey as well i got you if you need the resources like what big mike has it's available to you just go to mike as you can see i have an app with all of the specifics, okay? Everything that you need to know is gonna handle your nutrition, is gonna handle your training day to day, rep for rep, is video of everything, so there's no guesswork, all right? That's MikeMachine.com. Supplements, you know what it is, the Ambrosia Collective, baby. Anyway, I'll holler at y'all next week. We out.
we've all been indoctrinated with a way of life that is not conducive to us having real freedom and do what we want to do how you want to do it when we want to do it it's time to break these chains from my brain i'm going to help you reprogram yourself to have the life that you deserve because many of y'all are looking for a breakthrough which happens at the very first sacred society live mastermind where my team and I will deconstruct the elements of success and help you develop a personal roadmap for your journey. They've convinced you that making money is difficult, but it's not. It's a matter of knowing the process and seeing it through. They got you going to a job that you don't like, getting paid less than what you're worth. To take that money, go to your apartment or your house that's not your dream house, so you could sleep, get rest, to get up and go back to that job, making that person rich so they can keep drip feeding you this little bit of money for you to go back, pay these bills so you can rest and go to work. It's a cycle and it's madness, it's insanity. And this is what they teach. The modern school system teaches people to be like this, docile and obedient. September 2nd, 3rd and 4th is the Sacred Society Mastermind. We have general admission, we have VIP, and we have ultra VIP. General admission and VIP is the second and the third. Ultra VIP members will also get the fourth in which we will be going on the ocean, beautiful Atlantic Ocean, Miami, on a yacht. It'll be myself, 19 Keys, Wall Street Trapper, Wes Watson, Sean Whalen, Sean Torbati, and a few other of my self-made multi-millionaire homies. You will have access to a live fireside chat. You will get to participate. We will be filming content. You will get to ask us questions. You will get to pitch your ideas. We will give you feedback. It'll be a day that'll change your life. Once you open yourself up to a new standard, you can't go back. I hope y'all are ready. Get your tickets now at sacredsociety.io. I'll see y'all in Miami this September.